Alright guys, what's going on? So, we are with the final part of Fears to Fathom. Um, and I've heard this is the scariest game, or the scariest episode. So, um, this is going to be scary. Um, hopefully we don't... Yeah, yeah, let's just get right into it, man. I'm, I'm tired of waiting. The last one was actually like, this one was kind of, I'd say the best one so far is probably the second one. The first one was too easy, the third one was like meh, I don't know, just kind of like weird tasks. This one, though, no, I have high hopes. This is a two hour game. Okay, um, multiple parter, yeah, multiple parter here. This will most likely be a two-part game, to just letting you know, because May 12th. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play... Fears to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to count happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anybody about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I, I feel like doing so might help me process memories of it. I knew that sharing this story and anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say that I was lying. As I'm writing this, this is the scariest experience of my life. Mom, Jack Nelson, I had it. There we go. Wait. <clears throat> I'm Jack Nelson. Had a small time job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed at one of the largest fire forests in the Pacific Northwest. The key thing about parks, like national parks, I, I've heard this for a, the past few years, apparently like a lot of missing people are correlated to their last locations being national parks, so it's just a thought. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the, for the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. The biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. The RV was the place, was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one, this one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. surrounded by nature gave me happiness. I feel like I was at home in the woods. Kayla Nelson. I remember there's a diner that I have to try. That was the fart job. Right near the other car. Am I hitting the building? I'm 
on the verge of it. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good, how about you? Feel free to take any seat you like. I'll be right there with you. Them. Thank you for washing your fucking hands. The last game, nobody washed their hands. Fuck it, that door opened the other way. Okay. your day, right? Thanks. I wasn't gonna be the asshole that didn't tip. to admit I have seen gameplay of this game or this specific episode the others I hadn't so I know a little bit of what's going on um, 
says, I want to include the location of the park, but I, I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in this wood. Just how the fuck do you... Okay. transfer fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring any this season. Hang on, let me check on that. You motherfucker. <laughs> Bro, it is this game and the second game in the like the um the the guy in the bathroom that scared the absolute piss out of me. Thank you, brother. just so we know your clock and safe. If need be, you can reach out me out on reach out to tower 12 during the staffing. Thank you, Billy. Hey. Just speak to advice, don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of the tower. You got it. Bob, cats, and bears. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. I left my bag in the RV at first. Oh shit, so you left it. bag, now it's just time to go through the woods. I heard footsteps. Eleven thirty two PM. It was a long hike and it's starting to get cold now.
And I think what this is going to be is, since it's like a two hour game roughly at around the hour mark, I'm going to stop recording and then upload that for today by the time you're seeing this and then tomorrow will be part two. Living in a firehouse is not a glamorous job. Imagine being out here for weeks at a time. It's not for everybody. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. Ascended the stairs to the top. Once you're on the top of the tower, the job is to look out for fires or anything of the out of the ordinary. Then on the I see. Maybe over this way. filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. Really. Forgot to turn on the generator at first. I have to go all the way... Fire department. All lookouts must fall out of ship. I had to report for tonight. I'd like a kit. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have to do the radio equipment was sitting on the wooden table. Password somewhere.
password. Is there a thing that tells me the password? Check the iron uh, rules flyer. Oh, system password is iron bar. Iron Bark 11. Not a headshot. Bro, they gotta make this a full game. Shit's sick. Osborne Firefinder. It's like a, a giant compass the size of a. Interesting. Okay, where is. Oh, fire. There we go. I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? Wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit.
don't know how to make a fire. <laughs> I stop fucking pouring on the ground. How the fuck do you do the fire? Oh, is there like a... Okay. No, oh, my whole fucking thing is flammable. I don't do it, I guess. How the fuck do I get firewood? Oh, store shack. Here it is. Oh. God damn it, I brought the, the gasoline down here for nothing. Fucking dumbass. I have no idea how to fucking do this. I am like twenty years old and I don't know how to make a fire. Gotta love that. I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. I see what I have to do. There we go. It was so complicated. Ah, I see it. I see this much. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? Did you report for the night yet? No, let me. You get better to get to it then. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. Their thermometer. I'm 
genuinely lost. Dude, I'm so, so fucking lost. Oh, is there like a. Hold on. There has to be another application on the. Oh. Employee. Welcome to Ironbark State Park! If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say CONGRATULATIONS! You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You have been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire! Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time, so also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Smart. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to note whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and... And we are back. So how... Uh-huh. Sir, there's no need for nobody. Did you just Drake? No, I thought that was Drake. What did you just say? Hi, everyone. I water there. I a needle. I'll save that for later. Ah, there it is. The basting brush. This brush is really great for painting in those details. I think I'll put a little tree here. This is where I. to get to my job. Where is the thermometer? I gotta use the mouse. Seventeen? means I have to find a um, thermometer. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm doing that, brother. I'm just trying to find the thermometer. Dude, where the hell is the thermometer? Maybe I'm a dumbass. Uh, Thermometer, where are you? Oh. 44.5. Yeah, thunderstorm? Wind. Uh, dust storm. Rain. Mist. Clear. You copy, new guy? I think I'm going to sign off for the day. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Okay, bedtime. Oh, what the fuck is that? God damn it, bro. Where did I put my flashlight? <laughs> Dude, that's shit. being out of the cabin, it gave me a strange feeling. Dog, you have to piss, you need to leave the... What the fuck? Can I... I might put a warning before that sneeze, like, hey, it's about to get loud. Just so I don't blow out the eardrums of people watching this video. Dude, can I not leave the fucking... What the fuck? Bro, how? I'm just peeing off the... Oh, we're just putting this shit in directions, okay. What if I, like, piss on, like, a... Like a fucking hiker just walking by. Okay, hit time. Night two. Man, that is peaceful. It's just you and the wind, and the time just melts away.
Copy that, Connor. Son of a bitch. Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me have a look. North of my position, so... Yes, you motherfucker, Jesus. You spot that white smoke that appears to be in the lazy trail sector. Which is now a registered campsite. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Stay safe out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray if you do with the new guy. Over and out. Bear spray and flashlight. In case my ass gets lost out in the woods. Let's go. I am prepared. I didn't bring a compass. Not the smartest move on my end. I was on the wrong trail. What? Yeah, that's the one I get for not bringing my compass. Trail. Eight thirty seven PM. I've been hiking that long. I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. beyond the site was closed. I had to put it out. My dumbass, how do you put out fire? Water? Oh, fill it, fill it. We have an EMF detector too. Oh. Interesting.
I supposed to investigate that more? Or? As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Tower 11, okay. Oh, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. I was gonna say, I recognize that bridge. What is this tower? a report daily. Thank you. 
tiger wood. to do so, so should be good on that end. Don't fuck me. I don't put that out. Okay. We're good. Leave that right outside my bedside. Alright, I need to make food. At this point, I was starving. Oh, fuck. Okay, I need to make a. Uh, Pasta, pizza pasta, uncooked pasta. Okay, where the hell did I just throw it? Uh, marinara sauce. The fuck is marinara sauce? Marinara pepperoni. Dude, where do I get all this? The fridge. Make a lot of sense. Mozzarella cheese, but okay. And that is sardines. That's not what I want. That's sliced ham. These tomatoes. There we go. We're gonna throw this all back in there. And then place uh, big at 420. Still forty six point four. Shut the fuck up. And then seventeen. 
about the weather? Oh, it's clear, I'd say. See any hikers, bro? So. This is the one thing with this game. Like people are eating entire fucking things of, of like casserole. anything so far. Shades, you mean, brother? What do you mean, my computer? What the fuck does this mean? the boards means. Can we shut the radio off? the boards and what in God name does that mean? Like, what the fuck? This is. Glee. Bro, 
I'm so confused. Close the boards. If, if there's moments where like, where I didn't, doesn't look like I'm moving, it's because I'm being honest with you, I'm looking this up. Yeah, because cause I don't know what the fuck to do. Oh shit, he's closed down. Oh shit, no, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Good there. Any more this way? One. I don't know why there's boards. That's like very fucking weird. See if I can close from the other way. Oh, you do not expect my ass to close, the, open the door right now, right? They went away. I feel like as I was being watched. the presence outside. Motherfucker, I'm not opening the door.
make any sense. There's not much else I can do in the dark. Night three. You know, I really thought I was going to make this like a three part of it. I'm just making this one part. The next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason as a harmless prank by some kids, but there's something about that night that always felt just darker. There's something strange happening in these woods. 8.34 p.m. I occupied most of my days either with simple maintenance in and around the tower. Why can't I move? My paranoia for these woods only grew after last night, which led me to be extra villain diligent moving forward. Just got sent up. I threw it off the tower. Someone was supposed to check on me. Holy moly, look at what took you so long. I've been knocking for hours. I was just checking and you what were you up to, pal? Uh just finished up my report. At this hour? May the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here, just the usual essentials. 
feel like I'm gonna pass out if I keep holding these for more. Okay. What were you doing here last night? What do you mean? Up north, why were you there? I was required to investigate the smoke. Oh lord have mercy. Nasty business up here, pal. Bob cats and bears. Be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of. I just killed that hiker, so that's great. Uh... Oh shit, 27 knot wind. Tripping, or did that say throw it off? Dude, I don't know anymore, man. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Is, is there anything out there, though? That, like, fucking fuck me up? I was too hungry. Motherfucker. You have the leftovers. things to do. I have to grab more firewood. Yeah, I know, buddy, uh, I'm fucking doing that. And it's just, you have no firewood, and you want to be safe, so shut the boards, you know what I mean?
left, actually. I don't know which direction I threw it off. No, yeah, I'm fucked. Gotcha. Bitch, <laughs> 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 fucking. Good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember, curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. Bro, fuck you, goddamn. Yeah, no shit. This is the fucking game that the, just one day. Uh, I swear to God, man. Holy shit. Uh, go to bed, bitch. I see the smoke coming out of your tower. New guy. You there? My unease was starting to grow with each passing day, so when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change environment I need to get used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in these woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. Okay. 9.18 p.m. Oh, fuck this game. You got it. You got a minute? Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology is not really my thing. Dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Pack 
package code? What's the current package code? Five four one six. Service line one oh five four five nine eight seven. Oh, so five four eight seven. Oh. oh fuck, I need to go down to the generator. Shut this. thought I just saw something in the corner of my eyes. I was about to shoot my pants. Yeah, this is clearly the fucking scariest episode. Like, dear god, man. One week later. Time is flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past few days. While there was no fires going on, the only thing I'd do is check on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked. Unless I was talking to myself. 234. Oh, fuck it, of course. We got another one. I know it's late, but you're gonna want to see this one. Jack? Jack? Get up, bitch, Jesus. Jack, you got me. Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Um, do I have my thing now? Because I threw it off the edge last time. Come. You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. If they don't run away this time, take their photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. So do I what? 
west. Oh yeah. Cult. Okay, cult. If I want to get evidence, I think I have a camera somewhere. I have a camera. I'm using the camera. Which way was it again? It's this way, right? Yeah. Oh, I've seen in past videos people don't use the flash. I thought I had a camera at least. I thought I brought a camera. I put my thing. If I threw it off a cliff again, I swear to God, I had to check the camp. Oh fuck! I do have to get up. do that, but I, I don't know where I put my fucking goggles things. I have a feeling I threw them over the edge again. Where the fuck did I put them? Definitely threw it. <laughs> I'm like actually fucked now though. I think my hand slipped and I just pressed fucking G and then BAM it goes off the thing. Threw it off the edge. Maybe like the bed thing activates it. I I can't. What am I supposed to fucking do? There's like an inventory, bro. I, I don't know what to do with it. Bro, I, I okay, well I don't know why th there's no respawn feature. Like, like genuinely. I don't know where I put it. Like, that's that's the thing that I'm running into around. I ran back to grab my flashlight, and I think I fucking threw it off the edge.
had to make the controls right next to each other. I, I hate this dude. <laughs> I fucking hate this. I, I don't know what to do. Well, I, uh... I don't know what to fucking do, man. I'm gonna look back on this recording and be like, oh shit, uh, yeah, it just threw it off the fucking edge. You know what? Might as well. Hi. I'm just gonna throw everything off this fuck. I don't have anything to fucking do right now. Dude, I, I don't know what to fucking do. What the fuck? It's visible to the eye, so I don't, I don't know why the fuck I can't, like, do anything about it. I can't. <laughs> okay, well... If it doesn't respawn, I think, I think we're gonna have to <laughs> fucking call it there, dude. Oh my god. Oh, there is save in this game, so we didn't, we didn't throw it off the thing. If anybody watched that, man, I just fucking... We got another one. I know it's late, but you're gonna wanna see this. Jack? Jack? Jesus Christ, man, okay, well... Jack, you okay? Tell you what, I don't have the energy to do this right now. Okay, bitch. I've been here busting my ass, and now I'm gonna see more superiors than Okay, let me have a look. And do this. Do not throw one off the fucking edge. You know what? I don't have it in me. Sit over if things get worse. Don't update me tomorrow morning. Why did I do that? I didn't know what to make of it. The only thing that made sense was to take evidence of it. <gasps> oh, motherfucker. Are they on my ass? Oh, they are my ass. Oh, we did. Oh, we dead. Oh, we dead. Oh, we deader than a motherfucker. Oh. 
Oh, no, we did. four more minutes of that, so that's it. I have not made it out successfully out of three games, and I know a lot of other people have, so I don't know what it looks like to succeed, um, but that's going to be it, so that's Fierce to Fathom, and you know, it was, it was honestly really good, I got, like, I enjoyed all four episodes, um, as far as my favorite, probably episode two and episode four were, like, one of my favorites, um, but, th but they all kind of brought their unique little thing into it, so I enjoyed that. Um, but that's gonna be it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know it's a bit of a longer one. It's like an hour and thirty, an hour and forty-five. But um, tomorrow will be most likely probably um, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'm probably gonna have like two more uploads of that, and then for like the next month or so, probably no uploads. And then this summer we'll get we'll get back to like. Almost every up, every day upload something like that. Um, maybe maybe like a few times a week. Who knows? But that's gonna be it. Um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Texas Chainsaw Massacre.